Dark energy, why must you be so cruel? What is now visible in our Hubble radius will one day become lost in darkness due to the accelerated expansion of dark energy. Just like an ancient photograph slowly deteriorating, galaxies whose distant past is now visible will soon fade to darkness. Following the collision of the Milky Way and Andromeda, even our local group of galaxies will one day become invisible. We will be isolated, alone, surrounded by nothing but darkness. But this is merely the beginning. The beginning of the end. How will the universe end? In this multi-part series, I explain one of the most likely and arguably the most likely scenario, heat death. In addition to how heat death can lead to the birth of a new universe, perhaps one precisely the same as ours. Don't worry, we'll get to that and much more throughout this series. To understand all the complexities of heat death, there are quite a few mind-bending concepts that I've started to set the stage with. Over the prior episodes, I explained why the universe is not only expanding, but actually accelerating in its rate of expansion. Consequently, distant galaxies have now started to disappear. Unfortunately, today's topic is the darkest of them all. Eventually, each new dying supergalaxy will be utterly alone. Nothing will again approach to bring in a fresh supply of gas to fuel new stars. The stars already shining will soon burn out, exploding as supernova or more often their outer layers becoming slow burning relics, gradually cooling for billions or trillions of years. Black holes will grow for a time, some will engulf galaxies worth of dead stellar remnants, some will stall in growth with no new matter approaching close enough to be consumed. When the stars have all faded to darkness, the ultimate decay sets in as Katie Mack, the author of End of Everything, explains. And it is here that, yes, even black holes begin to evaporate. Initially, most believed that black holes were eternal. However, in the 1970s, Stephen Hawking calculated that the quantum effects of black holes' horizons causes it to glow. This glow inevitably requires energy from the black hole. This then causes the black hole to lose mass. The process begins slowly, but becomes faster and faster until an explosion and disappearance at the very end of the black hole's extremely long life. Yes, even these massive black holes at the center of galaxies will also eventually fade to darkness. Of course, the same matter that makes up planets and stars will also fade to darkness. If any type of matter is left long enough for a long duration of time, it too will decay, since the majority of particles of matter are unstable. For example, a neutron will decay into a proton, an electron, and also an antineutrino. It is also estimated that this would take over 10 to the power of 33 years. After that long of a period, even hydrogen atoms, the most abundant atoms in the entire universe, will also decay. The culprit behind and this agonizing fade to complete darkness is dark energy. However, this slow fade to darkness merely is the beginning of the end. The term heat death might be misleading, considering the end is actually much cooler and darker. However, in this case, heat actually refers to disordered motion of particles. If you watch my video on distinguishing the past and the future, you'll know precisely what I'm heading towards, and that is entropy. Entropy is explained in terms of how disordered something is from its initial state. To give you an example of this, a completed puzzle has low entropy because there is only one particular way it could be constructed as a whole. However, a pile of the puzzle pieces can be in any amount of configurations and still be considered a pile of pieces. It's not quite this simple though, and I'll come back to this example to explain why later. Additionally, entropy is linked to a higher temperature. For example, a block of ice has molecules arranged in a very particular order. A liquid, on the other hand, allows them to move much more freely. Water also happens to be warmer than ice, of course. The same idea applies to steam, if you take this one step further. Most notable takeaway here is that according to the second law of thermodynamics, entropy can only increase in an isolated system. This can never be reversed. If you recall from this video, you'll know that it is precisely this process that allows the past to be distinguished from the future. Eventually, if you leave something long enough, it will decay into disorder. Now, I know what you're thinking. Can't you just put the pieces of that puzzle together and reverse entropy? Did you just break the laws of thermodynamics? Well, unfortunately, no. While you did decrease the entropy of that specific system, being the puzzle, that does not account for what is outside of that particular system. Oh, right, the rest of the 
fucking universe. When you spent time putting it back together, your body was using energy from your digested food, your fingers gripping the pieces was causing friction, and even you breathing was causing more entropy as well. So, unfortunately, no. You can't break the second law of thermodynamics when considering the entire universe as a whole system. Now, I know what some of you really smart folks might be thinking. Aha, well, what if I throw myself into a black hole after finishing the puzzle? Not even light could escape a black hole, so does that mean you've effectively reduced the entropy of the puzzle and got rid of the evidence, aka increased entropy, by throwing yourself into a black hole? Well, if you choose to do that, best of luck to you, unfortunately your death will all be in vain. Black holes too have their own entropy. When you throw yourself into a black hole, its mass will increase proportionally to the size of you, which increases the horizon size and thus the surface area of the black hole where energy is emitted through Hawking radiation. And this all leads to the conclusion that yes, even black holes will also evaporate away, no matter how long it takes. All they leave behind is some radiation spreading out through an extremely dark universe, accelerating an expansion due to dark energy. In other words, eventually everything will fade to complete darkness. Not even black holes will survive heat death. Now, while this end is very dark, agonizing, and perhaps disappointing, this means that a maximum entropy level will eventually be reached. And now what this means for the concept of time itself is truly remarkable. Because of this, it leads to something quite spectacular. In fact, it's so insane that you might not be able to wrap your mind around it. By insane, I mean in the next video, we'll be discussing why it's completely reasonable to believe that our universe will be recreated precisely as it is right now, with you watching the video right now and perhaps even subscribing. Anyway, I hope you guys found this intriguing. If so, share it with a friend, especially if they happen to be drunk. I promise, the look on their face is going to be priceless. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, or perhaps if you learned a thing or two, I'll leave a link for The End of Everything by Katie Mack in the description for those interested in reading it. I do highly suggest it. With that said, though, have a fantastic rest of your day. Stay skeptical, stay curious, and until next time for the very last episode of how the universe ends.